Welcome to video number five in our Getting Started with CrowdSec series. This video is all about showing you how you can use the CrowdSec console to add a decision to block IP addresses or alternatively, how you can use the CrowdSec console to remove previously generated decisions. So for those of you that are new to CrowdSec, I'll give you a very brief overview of what a decision is before I start this walkthrough. So in the context of CrowdSec, a decision represents the action that will be applied against a given IP address that your security engine or your CrowdSec deployment has flagged as malicious. So this information, this decision will be passed to one of our remediation components via what we refer to as our local API. And the remediation component will then act on that decision. And by default, that decision would be to ban the corresponding IP address from the network. You can configure CrowdSec to add different remediation actions, such as presenting the user with a capture. But as I say, by default, the decision will be to ban any malicious IP address. So if you want a clearer explanation or a more in-depth explanation of what decisions are and exactly how they're generated, I've linked one of our CrowdSec Academy courses in the description box below the video so that you can go and review that if you wish. So if we want to get a view of all of the decisions that are active at this point in time across our CrowdSec deployment, we need to click into the decisions tab that you can see here. So one thing to note, I have once again turned on anonymous mode because I'm currently using the CrowdSec organization, which as you know, we use to protect all of our internal systems. So I'm in anonymous mode, which is why the IP addresses have been blurred out. And this tag here would actually represent the remediation action. So this would say ban instead of tag one. So as I've said on this tab, we can get a view into all of the decisions that are currently active across our CrowdSec deployment. So you can see here, this is the IP address. As I've just explained, this would say ban or capture. This tag here represents the remediation action that has been applied. This security engine ID will show you which of your CrowdSec deployments has actually taken the decision to ban this IP address. And this duration here represents how long is left on the decision. So as I've said, by default, CrowdSec will set a duration of four hours, but you can change this duration if you wish. And then finally, this column here will show us what attack vector or what attack the IP address was attempting to conduct. Um, and in this case, it's an open SIPs request. The one below, you can see it was a brute forcing attack. So if for whatever reason, your security team or yourself may need to override a decision, you can do so directly within the console UI without having to interact with your command line. I will say that this is dependent on you having a premium account. So this is one of our premium features. But providing you are on one of our paid for plans, if you need to delete a decision, and I use one of these real time decisions that has just come in, as you can see, if I needed to delete this decision for whatever reason, all I need to do is click this cross here. So delete decision. You'll then be prompted to confirm that decision to delete. But since this is actually protecting our CrowdSec infrastructure in real time, I'm not going to press confirm here. Adding a decision against an IP address is just as simple as well. So if we need to add a decision against an IP, all we need to do is click this box here that says add a decision. You will then see that we are prompted to input either the IP address or the IP range. So again, for the purpose of this, I will just add a dummy IP address. And we're then prompted to set the remediation action. So as I've said, the default action is to block the IP address or ban the IP address from your network. But you can also select to present a capture or you can set a custom action. 
For the purpose of this, I'm gonna select ban. You'll then be prompted to set your duration. As you know, four hours is the default. You can select eight hours or you can select a custom time period. For this walkthrough, I'll select eight hours. You will then be prompted to leave a reason. So this is optional, but you can leave a comment for other team members. So this would be really useful for them to understand why you have added a decision against a given IP address. So I will just say known as malicious. And then the target, this refers to which of your security engines you want this decision to go to. This could be one of your security engines or all of them if you wish, or you can set the target by tags. So if you set up different tags, that relate to different security engines, you can also do that by tags. But for the purpose of this, I will select all of my security engines. And then once you've completed this dialogue, you just need to press save. Obviously this is an incorrect IP address, but that will then create a decision that will be sent to your security engines via the local API and your remediation component will then act on that decision. So that is really how easy it is to either manually delete a decision or manually add a decision from within the CrowdSec console.